Hi, I'm Sasha from The Balanced Canine, and this week I reached out to my good friend Brittany over at The Pet Girl, who's a professional dog trainer, and asked her if I was to bring home a new dog, whether that be a puppy or an adult, what are her pro tips for helping us settle on that dog a lot faster? So let's hand over to Brittany and see what those pro tips are. So firstly, it's pretty important to recognize that it's quite overwhelming uh, coming to a new home. So it's really important to manage your expectations and to take things really slow and as the dog in front of you needs. Uh, so the two things that I usually recommend to people when we are settling a new dog into a house is to consider setting the dog up for success. So that means not placing them in situations where they are likely to fail. And then number two, making sure that your dog or your puppy has clarity. So what you want to make sure sure is that your rules and boundaries and structure are very clear to the dog. And the way that you do that is by having the same rules across all family members and making sure that everybody sticks to those rules. Um, in conjunction with that, if you've got a puppy, managing their space is a pretty big deal. So I usually recommend that uh, you look at getting a puppy pen uh, or some kind of area for your puppy to go in when you're unable to supervise them. Finally, the biggest thing that you should consider is making sure that everybody in the house feels safe. So this extends to other dogs, uh, to children, to other family members and to other animals as well. So placing your dog or a puppy in a situation um, where they're able to essentially run amok might be uh, causing safety concerns for any of the other existing family members. And we want to really avoid that if we're going to be fostering really good relationships moving forward. Uh, so think about what your end goal is going to be with your new puppy or your new dog and make sure that you're working towards that end goal as opposed to just doing things uh, to say keep your puppy or your dog uh, happy in the short term. So a good example would be uh, if you are a person that doesn't necessarily want your dog sleeping in your bed for the first, uh, you know, like long term, uh, whilst you can definitely do things to ensure that they're feeling comfortable, like for example, putting a crate next to your bed or having a pen in your room, if you're the kind of person that's going to take away your dog sleeping in your bed, uh, you want to make sure that you're setting those stru that structure and those boundaries right from the get-go. And that is the best way to set your dog or your new puppy up for success. Finally, if you do have any existing dogs, uh, what you want to make sure is you want to make sure your greetings are done really methodically. And this might be touching base with a trainer and making sure that you are setting both animals up for success and both animals are in the right state of mind before they conduct a meet and greet. Hope that helps. Thanks to Brittany at The Pet Girl for those excellent pro tips. Don't be shy about getting in a professional to come and help you with your situation. Sometimes that extra set of eyes looking from the outside in is really gonna help you figure things out a lot faster. And depending on the issue, sometimes you can really get a really good headway with just one session. Some more complicated problems are gonna take a little bit longer, but starting with one session is obviously the best way that you can start to move forward. Thanks again to Brittany. Now keep it here at The Balanced Canine because we have a lot more of these videos coming from different animal experts in this amazing industry here in Australia. We have some vets, some trainers, and even groomers lined up to give you some cool tips. Thanks for stopping by.